If I started my reselling business in 2022, there's a lot of things that I would do differently. Like choosing not to buy that oversized Nerf gun at a garage sale that was super difficult to send in the post. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. In today's video, I'm gonna break down five things I wish I'd done differently to help fast track my success of reselling. If you're new or just starting out for the very first time, you're in luck. Consider this video your cheat code to starting a successful eBay reselling business. Guys, this is a massive one to kick off the episode. There's not too many opportunities that you can be profitable in small business from day one, but if you play your cards right with reselling, it certainly can be. And what I mean by that is to just simply have a look around the house for items that you no longer want that are actually worth quite a bit of money on eBay. You'd be absolutely shocked at some of the value that you've got that you deem to be worthless. So go ahead, check the cupboards, and see what you've got. Two main factors as to the reason why I think you should be doing this. The first one is time. You're gonna be grinding away on a nine to five, and this is gonna be a side hustle gig for you so you've got to use your time wisely and I think right at the very beginning the best way to use your time wisely is to just focus on listing up items onto the platform so it's gonna be a lot of lot to get your head around it's a lengthy process it takes a bit of time so if you only have a small amount of time find those items from lying around the house and spend that time listing them up onto eBay the other one as well is the money factor there's no financial commitment because you already own the items and like I said you can be profitable from day one. So you gotta remember guys, these thrift stores, these garage sales, they are everybody else's unwanted goods from their own home. So before you start digging through theirs, make sure you dig through your own. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while now, and even if you haven't, basically I used to flip furniture on Facebook Marketplace and I, I did it pretty consistently and I, I had some good success with it. I just realized that after a few months of doing that, you probably can't build a sustainable business like that. So I kind of had to look elsewhere and I knew that eBay was, I guess, always there, but I found the 13 to 15% worth of selling fees a little bit unjustified and I guess I was a little bit naive to the actual reach and exposure that you get from a, a platform like eBay. And really, when you look at it, 13 to 15%, I think is a very small price to pay now. It's crazy how my mindset has completely changed. But for this tip, I kind of wish that I punted off all the other different types of selling platforms and just focused on eBay entirely. It just simplifies things. You can really hone in and become a beast of eBay rather than having to put your time elsewhere into other, other platforms and ultimately kind of drip feed the success where you can go all in and have greater success on the one platform. So that's a massive tip that I wish I kind of did a bit sooner that I am doing now and I'm so glad that I am because I'm having a lot of success on eBay because that is literally all I'm focusing on. For this next one, I was actually in the early stages a little bit nervous about telling people what I was doing as a full-time job. I was selling stuff, buying stuff, used stuff, op shop stuff, dirty stuff in the perception of others. Uh, and I just didn't know how they were gonna react to it. And um, I think that was, a, that was a rookie move. I should have just been on the front foot, just telling people, everyone, what I was up to because it's all about connections. It's all about establishing and building relationships. I've come to realize this game of reselling. And the more connections you have, the more opportunities you have to find items, the better success you're gonna have. And you're not gonna stress yourself out trying to find the next item to sell. So you can be telling friends and family right from the get-go that this is what I'm doing. I'm making money by selling stuff online. And I think that's a very cool thing to say that you do. And uh, your friends and family are gonna be the first people that wanna support you from that. Now, there's two different avenues that you can go down when you go down the friends and family sourcing path. And the first one is consignment. So you can basically take the item off them and not pay a cent for it and then split the profits once it's all been taken out fees postage and everything like that so i tend to do that rather than actually paying for the item and giving people money for what they're giving me i tend to find that consignment just seems to work better for the both of us um, but i have done consignment with mates as well where i've literally just paid like five bucks an item uh, for, for clothing items basically like op shop prices and i've just given it to them um, and basically just bought it off them. And then I've got the profit that comes from that. Uh, and also the loss of the money if it doesn't go on to sell. So I'm always particular about what I'm taking off people. Um, it does need to still go on to sell, but it's a great way to, uh, to obviously source extra inventory. The other one as well is it doesn't have to be your friends and family. It can be anyone. And this is the point I'm making around just literally telling the world what you do. Put it on your social posts, on your own personal page, on Instagram or Facebook, whatever the case may be. And just seek assistance from other people. I've got consignment de uh, deals going on with ladies at the post office. They, they bring in items and I try and sell them off. Um, other resellers that don't sell on eBay that want the, the global international exposure, I take their items and do consignment with them. So really guys, this can be absolutely anybody. And I, I think if I had done that in the earlier stages, I would have been a whole lot on my way to fast track success. So 
Uh, big tip, speak to the world. Let them know what you do. So this one's been a big learning curve for me over the last 12 months. I used to think that all inventory was good inventory. Pretty much anything that I could make a dollar on was worthwhile purchasing. I used to buy mugs because Gary V did in his Trash Talk video series. Picked up this strawberry shortcake mug for 33 cents. Roll down the window, D-Rock. Respect the game, strawberry shortcake milk mug. I used to buy a bunch of books because I thought that, that was gonna be a really good money-making opportunity for me. But I have no passion in mugs. I don't like selling books and I've come to realize that it's best to get into categories that you're passionate about, that you enjoy selling, you enjoy listing up. You spend a lot of time listing up these items each day. So it may as well be something that you personally enjoy. And I think that comes back to the fact of looking around your own home. Typically those sorts of items are gonna be the items that you fall into for your niche categories. So for me, it's shoes, clothes, and DVDs and video games and that media category is something that I've really focused heavily on over the last few months. So I'm now having some really good success because I know a lot about the category. Shoes I've always done from the very beginning and I've got to know that space very, very well. And the same goes for clothing. So I think for anybody out there, pick stuff that you're passionate about and only pick a few. Don't be a jack of all trades, just get to know your categories really, really well. Any good business has a business plan and this one is crucial guys. You've got to know what you're aiming for. You've got to put some goals in place. Know how much money you want to try and generate. Know how many listings that you need to put up. Know what your sell through rate needs to be at to be able to generate that revenue that you're going for. And they're actually the three biggest numbers for your eBay success, listings, sell through rate, and total revenue. So if you could be hitting those on a daily basis, and the way I've done that over the last few months is created this calendar. And if you've watched this channel for a little while, you would have seen it. But basically it's just an accountability calendar for me to make sure that I'm putting up my listings on a daily basis. Just having this visual calendar right here on the desk every single day has been such a dramatic effect on my success this year so far on eBay. And I've so far been able to hit my KPIs because I'm looking for better items when I'm outsourcing because I'm focusing on my sell through rate and the revenue is then obviously being able to generate as well because not only does it sell, but it's gonna go on to sell for a good price. And my listings probably so far this year haven't quite got to where they need to be, but at least because I've got the goals put in place, I know that I need to list more rather than just hoping I'm gonna hit the annual targets that I've set for myself. So just a huge one there, guys. You just need to have a target to aim towards. You need to have a goal to go after. And if you've got a goal, let me know what that is in the comments below because I'd love to hear it. I'd love to see at the end of the year that you've ticked it all off. So they are five things that I would do differently if I started a reselling business in 2022. And while I do say all of those changes that I would make, I also don't regret any of the, I guess, pathway that I've gone down to build what is now a really successful reselling business and something that I'm very proud of. It's the learnings along the way, the fumbling your way through that's actually part of the journey, no matter how you go about it. But hopefully, there's a few tips in there that can help you fast track your success if you are just starting out. And if you get to make a sale, open up the cupboards around your house, see what you've got and list up that very first item. And let me know what it is in the comments below as well. Appreciate you being here guys, my 30% clubbers. If you're watching this video right now, you're officially a part of the club, so welcome. It's the guys that stick around to the end of the video. You guys are the absolute best. I'm gonna leave you with this one right here, which is 10 tips for eBay success in 2022. So if you wanna level up your game on eBay, jump on over to that video. Appreciate you being here guys. We'll see you on Thursday for a trip to the thrift.